let's add some sort of scenes, the starting scene and the ending scene to the, to the game here, so that our game should be completed around 80%. So I'm going to the file, save this current scene and save the project, and I'm going to create a new scene, and I am going to show you what we are going to do in here, is that we are going to require two buttons here, the start game button and the quit game button. And first of all, I'm going to go into the UI and into this button here. On the canvas, I am going to click on this world space. As I've told you earlier, what it does is that it changes the size of that object with the screen size. And in the canvas, I am going to change the scale to something like 0.1 because that canvas is very big uh, as compared to the world space. So let's see where that canvas is right now. There it is, and I'm going to drag and drop it somewhere here. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the size of the button here. Uh, the button should be somewhere in 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 is I think that's too much big. Or you can change it to 0 0.2. 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is much smaller so 0 0.5 is good. And 0 0.5 is good. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I think this is good here and I'm going to duplicate it and down here should be this one duplicate it down three buttons one should be the start the quit and the info so I'm going to name the first one with the start so that we should know which button we are clicking the other should be of the quit and the third one should be of the about us. So in this start here, go into the text here and change the value from the button to the start. In the text, go and change the button with the quit so that we have the quit value here also. And in the text here, go and change it to about us. Now we are going to learn some new cool toggle functions of this button here. So I'm going to create some sort of script to this uh, canvas here and I'm going to add a component and I'm going to name it as a clicking event. I think this is good and I'm going to add it. I think uh, it's added. I think yeah. So I'm going to double click it and open it up in the wheel studio. Clicking so I well I don't need these functions here. I'm going to create my own functions public void. Uh, first of all, we need a start function, so I'm going to uh, to name a start here. So don't be confused with the main Unity start because that start is of uh, big alphabet S and Unity C sharp. Well, it is uh, in, uh, it's uh, a language that works on the encapsulation and decapsulation you should be very careful about that because what you are writing should really matter to that uh, to the compiler here so i am creating a function of a start here and in this i am going to say that first of all i should add the library using that i always forget using unity engine dot scene management well where is the auto write function well it is giving me a lot of headaches so i'm going to double click it and open it up again I think I found out why my autocorrect isn't working. It's because that I haven't seen uh, saved my scene, so I'm going to save that scene. And I'm going to name it as the started and go into the scenes and I'm going to save it. And now I think I should get my auto load function as well. And uh, still not why is this? You can see that there's nothing here. I think I'm going to delete that thing here. So in the canvas, I'm going to add a new script that I'm going to call a clicking event a script, and I'm going to click op uh, open it up in the Wheel Studio when it's loaded. I think it's loaded now. Double click it and open it up. Open it up. Reload all, and yes, save it. Okay. Now I think first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sorry this one using unity engine dot uh, scene management because we are working the scene and I, do, I don't want this one so I'm going to no 
and I don't want these two functions as well so I'm going to create my own function void uh, because uh, I need to access these functions over here in these buttons here so I need it, them to be of the public type public uh, void and I'm going to name the first function as the start button and in this I'm going to be moving forward into the next scene so what I'm going to do is that scene manager where is the scene manager scene manager dot load scene which scene should be loaded uh, I think uh, I should load with the scene manager dot uh, get active scene and dot uh, build index plus one so now what we are doing here is that we are loading active scene but with increment of plus one so we are loading the next scene that is available in the next frame what I'm going to do is that public void quit button uh, and uh, the thing is that quit button only works whenever we have built the game so don't worry about that if you're writing something uh, in the in this uh, in this code here and you have wrote this quit button application dot quit and not working in the unity it's because that when you have built that game then this button works the third thing that we need is about us. We, I think I will add it and void about us. And in this, I'm going to write scene manager dot get active scene. Sorry, not active scene dot load dot load scene. Scene manager dot what am I writing nowadays? scene manager dot get active scene dot sorry not dot dot built index now we need a plus three here two here I think two should be fine or I think if you know the build index of the all all scenes here you can simply write scene manager dot so, scene manager dot load scene and in this you can write the build index of that scene now that scene should be loaded now we have created the things here and first of all what I'm going to do is that I am going into this file here and I'm into the build setting I need to load my the uh, my scenes here the start scene should be above this sample scene because this is the main scene we have loaded two scenes here and uh, I think uh, in the first of all let me add some actions to the button here in the start here what I'm going to do is that click on this on click on click is basically an event and that is the click event when click on when we are clicking on the button some uh, buttons or yes on the buttons and in the none here I'm going sorry and in the run uh, so in the uh, in this one here I'm going to go and paste my canvas here and the function you can see that click in uh, clicking event script and in this you can see the start button somewhere here now we have choose this for the start button and for the quit button what we are going to do is that we are going to do the same thing and in the canvas we are going to paste this one here in the function in the clicking event function we are going to use the quick button and the about us we are also going to paste the canvas sorry we haven't created anything we are going to paste the canvas why I'm pasting the canvas or passing the reference to the canvas is that I have added the script to the canvas that's why and there should be about us yeah there it is now we have some sort of uh, scene amendment here and before moving on to some scene let me save it first and save the project and now let's see what happens when we move to the other scene you can see that we have moved to this scene here but whenever we are hitting the game we should be going into the third scene that is the scene where we need uh, our game to end so let's create an ending scene as well I'm going to the new scene and uh, in here we are going to show our score so for that I'm going to create a UI and name it as a text here and going to change the canvas with the wall space and uh, I'm going to change the size to 0 point something 1 0 point something 1 here and there is a canvas I'm going to drag and drop somewhere here and uh, I'm going to change the size of this text to something 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and I'm going to write your score is and also I'm going to change the color of this uh, text here to something white now you can see that we have 
this here so I, I think I want it somewhere here and I want my other thing here and uh, we want it turn k to our flow so we got this thing here so we I, I think I don't want this element so or we can simply remove this string from here and we can add uh, a component and I'm going to say that last score here and we are going to click on that one and uh, let's see what happens we got this script here so before passing something to this script we are going to add uh, a button here that is of let's add a button and that button should contain some sort of uh, I think uh, we should drag and drop that button here and change the size to something 0 0.3 and that button should contain two elements or only the one element that should be of restart and another button here that should say the main menu because we need our game to be go, go into the main menu as well main menu and I'm going to change it somewhere here and this one to somewhere here I think and let's see where our text is down here I think yeah I think we are fine with it and we are going to add the same script that we have created for the uh, this main menu function so for this main menu we are going to create and this uh, we are going to create some functions in the same in the clicky event script so I'm going to create a public a void uh, let's say that main menu and in this I'm going to say that scene manager dot load scene and in this I'm going to pass the one that is sorry the zero that is the starting scene and public main sorry uh, this one should be of the name of the void uh, restart and restart should be of minus one so I'm going to do this thing here copy and paste it over here so it should have, have a value of minus one so we are uh, adding uh, we are moving to the scene that is before it so previous scene so that's why I'm uh, decrementing minus one from it so before doing anything I think I should save the game because I haven't saved it yeah so in the scenes here I'm going to save as the ending scene I think save it and let's see what happens before saving it let's save the project you can see that yeah nothing is working it's because that we haven't added the event to it so go into the canvas and add the uh, where is that uh, clicking event to this canvas here and in the button here in this button here on click button here simply add this canvas and this is for the restart clicking event there's a restart and for this button you simply add the list on click and drag and drop this canvas here and in this go into the main menu there should be some main menu over here so save it as well and let's click on this let's see what happens you can see that we are restarting the game and because we haven't created some sort of ending game in the main game after that after this thing we are going to create that you can see that we are going into the main menu start you can see that we are creating some sort of score so now let's add some sort of ending game to our game so that our game should be completed and save some score and display it over in this uh, ending screen